Hey YouTube, it's Mal with Reptiles, and today I'm going to show you something really cool. Let's get this the hell out of there. That ain't going to be needed today. Uh, it's on there from a video we previously filmed, and I'll get that dealt with in a minute. We are going to go, and we are going to show you snakes. I know, my God, we're a reptile channel. That's going to be like, whoa, you're going to show me snakes. But everybody's always pulling out baby snakes and showing, oh, look at this baby, look at that baby. We do it too. Babies are freaking cute. But let's take a time and look at adults because I think it's really important to see what the adult versions look like. This will help you make your decisions for what you want to buy, what you like, because ball pythons tend to change as they age. So we're going to look at adults. We're going to start with, let's see which ones I was wanting to show. Not that one. It was this one. So this is an adult. Oh, super lesser. These don't change a whole hell of a lot. I mean, white is white. One thing they do bad is they do show scars bad. They do show dirt bad. They are great. Uh, if they've been leaning against something, you'll see a mark. So they always have a little bit of imperfection on them as they go, which is always changing. Where are you going, girly? One thing these things are great about is if you ever have mites, you'll see them on these really, really easy, which we don't have. You'll see a little dot like that. However, see that little black dot? I want to show this. So you'll see black specks on the malaise. Now that one, as you can see, isn't moving, doesn't streak, just coconut, and that's a fly it took off. So, but the nice thing is they will tell you because they just stick out like a sore thumb. So you stay nice and ivory white. Uh, this one has just recently shed. Its skin is still in there. I'll pull it out for you in a minute. So you'll have a little bit of a pink where it was rubbing, things like that. You know, got a little dirt on it. Uh, possibly a little bit of even blood from its last meal but they're friendly so uh white snakes for the most part stay white now depending on the type of white snake if you're running things like ivory you will see yellow on the back if you had um, mojave in here you'll very often see more gray on the head things of that nature but if you go super lesser you're gonna stay pure white just white as can be let me put her back and like i told you just shed there it is nice whole big shed so let's take a look at a few other ones this is a, one of my favorite animals that i have it's a pretty simple combination you'll see it quite frequently it's called a calibi which is going to be calico uh, spider and uh, pastel so a calibi so anyway there it is right there you can see with that it's held its colors phenomenally well these not all are created equal i'll be blunt some are nicer than others some are not as nice. This one, I think, is exceptional. It has good high white. The yellow stayed very, very nice. So the snake looks really, really good. A few things on these, depending on how your pastel is, you'll have more or less browning. Uh, the white on, that you see on the sides, it's not really going to change much. It's going to stay nice and white for you. The amount you have won't change a lot. You're going to see it as pink as a baby. The... This thing almost looks really faded out, but I know that's the only two genes in there. Another little fly, die fly. Uh, so anyway, this is when we're expecting to have babies this year. We're really hopeful she'll have babies this year. And she was bred to a super pastel exantic, meaning when she has those babies, we're going to have everything be head exantic, plus we're looking for some killer bees. Or not killer bees, sorry. Killer, killer <laughs> calabees. So really, really pretty snake, really, really cool. She's acting a little like pissed off. I got her out today. Usually she's a sweetheart. There you can see her. There she goes. You can see how heavy she's getting the back end. That would be the building from the eggs. So I really love what Calico does in this snake. And I think this is a great snake at holding a very nice color as an adult. So, all right. I'll put you back up. There you go. I gave you brand new water. Got rid of your poop while we were at it too. How would that be, huh? You like that? I bet you do. I know I do. So they are a very, very pretty animal. Another one that we will show, oh, what was a good one I was thinking of? Oh, we'll go over here. So we start talking about holding colors. Now this one isn't as old, but this isn't an adult breeder male. So it is a good example of what I'm talking about. Did you kill something and not eat it? I gotta check in there when I get the light on. It smells like you might have. Uh, this is what's called a super pastel exantic. So you can kind of see they're gonna gray out some, right? They're not gonna hold the color 100%. This, I would say, I'm like, well, if all you've ever seen is babies, you're gonna look at this and say, 
Ooh, I don't know if that's super. I think it's just a pastel exantic. But I can promise you <laughs> it is a super pastel exantic. I'll give you a comparison. You can tell still with all of the blushing and the pastel exantics because pastel browns so much, they do tend to brown. It is just what's going to happen. So they get to look more like, oh, did I scare you? That would be a straight pastel exantic. So you can see a difference in the two quite clearly uh, as they have matured. And then if I pulled out a regular exantic, we'll just go for the trifecta here. Well, this guy has his moments lately. This is a straight exantic. Look at that. So your exantic, your pastel exantic, and your super pastel exantic. And now to get full comparisons, this is way more than I anticipated doing, but I feel like it doesn't show up well on camera unless I do it this way. Let's get, don't you fall, a normal. So <laughs> there is your normal. And this guy actually is looking really dark right now. He's like, he's about to be in shed. And this normal's not a nutritional colored normal. Here, Kurt, I think you can keep him up there. Good luck. That's your job. I'm gonna get a normal with a little bit more color. That guy's very light, although he is just a normal. Uh, who am I looking for here? Oh, this guy would be a good comparison. This would be a more traditionally colored normal to give you an idea of a better comparison of the difference. So, exantic, super pastel exantic, pastel exantic, normal. So that's kind of the difference in color you're looking at as they age. Okay, you're gonna get put back up because you just don't wanna be out. I know, you're an old dog and you just wanna go home. Go home, it's okay, it's okay, get in there. So that's kind of the way those are gonna age a little bit. We'll go ahead and start working on getting these guys put back up. And then I'll show you a, a few more. Now, if you were any questions about that normal, why I'm pulling out a normal male, it's actually a double het for snow. So it is het for exantic will also be, I think you're gonna have eggs too, girly. That would make me very happy. Whew, get all these put back up. We'll also be in head for albino. Speaking of albino, why don't we show you what an adult albino is gonna look like? Because they do have some changes as well. Oh, you did. That's disgusting, buddy. When you think they ate, but they really just killed it and laid on it, I have to fix that in a few minutes. So this is a fresh shed. Uh, I would say this is a young adult. We're not ready to breed yet, but she's the one I wanted to show because I think she's my coolest albino. So this is an albino with some slight paradoxing. I just really like the color on her. So you can see some albinos are gonna really hold that high contrast. Some are going to fade out, so it's really kind of important to look at the parents if you can. Inspect the babies and pick the best looking baby. You're not going to have a big difference in price between the way they look, but, although you might have a little bit. But you're going to end up with something very nice like this that has that high, high contrast. There's a reason why I kept the snake. That is, is it, along with the fact she had the paradox spots there, there, and there, which I just thought were pretty cool. So there is you, and there is you. There is an adult albino. Let me put that one back up. There you go, girly. Another one that I think we are going to show. Well, she's in glow, so she's not exactly a, a good look for it. Let's show an orange dream. So orange dreams are born, and they're very, very light. They also are going to change color with age a little bit. Ooh. So this is our adult orange dream. Now to my eye, I see orange dream and pastel is looking somewhat similar. They do a lot of different things in combos, but uh, this is more of a Kurt gene than a matte gene, to be really honest. This is one that Kurt has always loved, probably because his favorite color is orange. I think that had a lot to do with it. But this will give you an idea of what an adult orange dream. Now you're gonna crawl it in arm. Now we're friends. Looks like right here, so. <laughs> what are you doing? Sometimes they don't want to go back. 
Poof, got it back. And then let's go with, this is another one that I don't think you see much as an adult. And this is a young adult here. We were hoping to get her, I mean, she's just barely at weight. And I think she is, yeah, going into shed. But this would be your super pastel lesser. So that's kind of what they look like as an adult. You know, they do kind of fade out again with the pastel and she'll look much nicer when she sheds. The pattern is definitely a little more spread out and things, but I really do dig this snake as well. And then let's show one more. She'll let me get her out. And that would be, this will be our last one. This is one I know you don't get to see. Ow. Oh, I kicked my foot trying to move the table. You don't get to see too much as an adult. And that is going to be our pastel freeway. Everybody's always showing these things as babies. Nobody's ever showing them as adults. And of course, my table doesn't want to let me in there. And she does not want to let me in there either. There we are. Let you have a look at her. So here you can really see her colors. I think they're gorgeous. This is a snake that has stayed uh, almost as pretty as it was as a baby. I mean, it's probably not as defined as it was when it was a baby. The colors kind of have melted together, but it has just stayed to be a very, very pretty snake. And this was one that is now at breed size. So if you look back, you can see when we got it as a baby compared to now. And man, I still think she's a pretty girl. So Kurt, what do you think? Yep, she's my favorite. She's your favorite. Any other snakes we should show as an adult? We do have an adult banana, uh, so we'll, we'll do that really quick. Let me put her back up. And our adult banana would be, we'll show this one. This is our female banana we hatched in house. There's a lot of variables in a banana. Uh, we've got a couple different adults and they all do look a little bit different, but this is what I'm hoping to pair I'll show you another doll I'm going to pair her with just because. Uh, well, I guess I shouldn't say open the pair. I have paired. I'm hoping she has eggs. And so what you can see with the banana is they're probably not going to stay as pretty as they do when they're babies. But this one has maintained a lot of the lavender color, the almost purple bruise color that I really want to get even more into the snakes. Uh, it just is a straight, straight banana. It has a little wonky patterning. Almost looks web-like back here, but no spider in this at all. Just... Just straight banana, so very cool female. And we are going to be pairing her with this guy right here, which is another snake I think you hardly get to see as an adult. And of course, he'd be in shed when we decide to make this video. You can tell it in his eyes. But that is a Suma. So this is our breeding adult Suma. And as you can see, they're not, I don't know what the camera is going to show for his color. Uh, I would say they're not a true black. So this Suma is almost like, oh man, the color of really dark chocolate. Uh, it's not, there's a little bit of earth tone in there. You do get some rainbow sheen. It's a very, very pretty snake. But to be true black, it needs to go just a few shades darker, which I think we can do. I think that's quite doable. You also have a little bit of a color stripe down its back. Uh, very faint, almost uh, ruddy. So I think you could also bring that out with some lighting, lightning colors and almost get a red stripe going down through here. But I think you can darken this up, which will be our goal. Our goal is also to change it to purple. Show you the belly. The belly is going to be pretty clean on these guys. Of course, his has a little bit of a blue look because of the shed. But uh, there you are. This is our adult Suma, which is super mahogany. So he'll make nothing but mahoganies. All right, guys, that's all I got. Uh, that was our tour of some adult snakes. If you enjoy seeing adults versus babies, let me know. And what we can do is start kind of going through and showing more of those and even a focus on certain genes from baby to adult when we have more babies in next year. All right, Curtis, you want to add? No. All right, guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.